We in a car with it. Yo. Um, I just wanted to really quickly get on here and do a quick intro. So this is just like a vlog of several different things that I was attempting to vlog and probably failed at. Um, it's just kind of like a mashup of things I've been doing just because I haven't had time to sit down and film a good video really. But I wanted to come on here and apologize basically for not posting for a full week and also just like apologize because I said there was going to be a video because my intentions were to make a video and then something happened which you will find out about later in the um, video. So if you've seen my community tab post about the kitten, you will understand that later in this video. But yes. So basically I went to the animal shelter when I came home a few days ago and I was already like you know thinking I wanted a cat but I didn't know if I was gonna find one and there were some really cute ones at this PetSmart as well that I didn't go to because I fell in love with the cat at the animal shelter um I looked at a few like adult ones and one kitten that's like around six months and basically the only one I like felt a connection with was the kitten and the one only one that like I felt just like drawn to I guess and that I felt was also drawn to me so I filled out paperwork, ordered a whole bunch of stuff, and so the first thing is obviously food. Um, I got dry and wet because I want to mix it and hopefully she doesn't get like too accustomed to the wet foods where she won't eat the dry food. But this is just kitten food and it's this huge bag so it should last her until she's one. Um, well actually I don't know like, like it looks like a lot but you never know. So, um, the next thing I got was this meow mix um and then i got these treats so the next thing was this catnip and i just got 100 percent natural 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 potent pure like um catnip and it's by the brand petcraft and then i got this cute bowl it's pink because she's a girl and that's like my favorite color if you know um it came with like googly eyes to put right here because it's I think it's supposed to be a cat. It's something, but it's so cute. The last thing that came in the mail today was just this uh, uh, thing of assorted, assorted, assorted yeah, toy. I am going to get Kitty Girl, but her real name is Posy Gray. But we're gonna call her Gray. So her name is Posy Gray, full name, and then my last name Harp. But we are calling her Posy Gray because I meant we're calling her Gray because it's cute and just like simple, short, and that's what they call her at the shelter and um i don't really know i'm really excited um the animal shelter doesn't open till one so i have to wait to leave here at like 12 because if i leave right now i'll get there at like 12 and um it'll be really early so right now i am just cleaning up my room chilling a breakfast went to math dropped my history class didn't tell anyone that let me flip the camera okay so i didn't tell y'all but i dropped my history class because i filled my first test in there we only have three tests Two tests left. Um, if I would have made a B on both of those, I still would have had a C in the class, and that wasn't working with my GPA. So I withdrew before the date that like it would have been penalized and counted as F on my um, transcript. So I dropped that class or withdrew from it. And yeah, I'm really excited to go get her. I just really quickly wanted to explain the kitten situation because I know I only had her for like two days and it just may be like really confusing but I am going to include 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 like clips of her and stuff like that like when I did have her because she was such a sweet kitten it's just that um 
first of all, they told me they were going to spay her the Monday before I got her and then I was going to get her the next day. I went to get her. They charged me for the spay and did not spay her. And if you know, like, unspayed cats, their behavior is kind of crazy. So I was already just, like, iffy about it. I was like, they lied and told me she was too young and she's clearly not. She weighed 4.3 pounds and, um... She was six months around that age and like anybody else would have done it. So I think they just forgot to do her surgery, which is fine. They could have just told me that, but they charged me for it. Um, so the first day she was really sweet, really clingy though. Like anytime I was in the room, she had to be on top of me and she was constantly meowing and like kneading and purring. But if I was in there, she was completely quiet, just like playing on her own and stuff like that. But if I was in there, she just had to be on top of me. And then the second night, um, she became like, I don't know if she was going to eat into heat or something, but she would just like stay in one corner and then like sprint to the other corner. And because I was seeing those behaviors, I knew that I wasn't going to have the money at the time. Like, I don't have 400 something odd dollars to come out of pocket when they were supposed to spay her. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that for her. And I don't want her to have unwanted litters. And I don't want her to be trying to escape so that she can go mate or anything like that. And I don't want her to go in the heat. And just the, like, situation wasn't, I, I realized that I just made a mistake by getting her. And I really loved her. She was really sweet. And I wish... I wish I wish I could have kept her like I wish I had the money to go get her spayed and I wish that like um they would have done it really because I feel like things would have been a lot different if they did it but all in all I just feel like it was best to give her back instead of giving her to someone else or anything like that I just feel like it was best to give her back to the place I got her from and when I'm more like responsible and mature and ready I guess and I'll have the funds in case something like this comes up then I will get my own pet but for now I'm just chilling no pets she was super sweet her name was gray um literally the sweetest cat ever uh she was really cute tiny she dookied on the way um when i first got her she dookied but it was okay because she was so cute even though my car stank and i barely could drive because it smelled so bad she was just so cute but Yes, I just feel like it's really unfortunate, but the way I was feeling, like, I would, when I was in there trying to do my work and she would constantly be on top of me, it would give me such bad anxiety because I felt guilty for getting her because I knew, like, I would play with her, but I knew that I was going to make school my main focus and priority, and it was just like, wow, I really have her, and I cannot be in the room with her doing my work, so I'd have to leave the room if I wanted to write my essay or something like that, and I feel like I wasn't spending enough time with her, and I just felt super guilty, and I know a lot of people that get new pets feel that way, but I don't know, like, it was just taking a toll on me, so I just decided it was best to give her back. So it is Friday. I came home for the weekend. Today I have a whole bunch of online work to do, and I have a business phone call, which I'm really nervous for. So that is basically what we're doing today, just a productive day, and I'm shaking because I'm hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and go get some coffee, and that's going to curb my appetite till dinner. Waiting on the phone call. It was supposed to be at 5.30 my time, 2.30 Pacific, but it's only 5.30, so I think so I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I tell mom to be quiet when she comes in so that she doesn't interrupt or anything, and I look slightly busted. Whatever. Good thing this ain't a FaceTime call. Good thing this isn't in real life. It's a phone call. So it's just me popping in here to say that this was the next day and we went to see Kirk J perform because he was in kind of like our area so we went to go see a performance from him and it was really good and I inserted a whole bunch of clips from that so yeah.
Like your love that gave me a heart. 